here we are about to start the session and let me upload the PDF for today's session just give me a minute I will be uploading the PDF. It will be made available to uh, on our Telegram group. Just give me a minute. So the PDF has been uploaded. You can download the PDF from our Telegram group. It is available over there. Here we are about to start. Here we are connected live Mohit, Pranjal, Bappan, Yamandeep, Rahul, Vicky, Pooja, Vivek, Priti, Akanksha, Nikita, Ajay, Sunita, Subhash, Simran, Shaswat, good morning. Simran, Shaswat, good morning. So here we will be starting this session and uh, we, as we have added um, few things related to to keep your morale high so we'll start the session with this particular quote as you can see it on the screen so this quote is saying that strategy without tactics is the slowest route to victory strategy without tactics is the slowest route to victory mm -hmm. tactics without strategy is the noise before the defeat this is again a statement by Sun Tzu he was a Chinese general so he came out with this particular idea now where are we going to use this particular information how we are going to relate ourselves with this okay so the point is that suppose if I take the example of UPSC preparation if you are not strategizing it okay if you are not strategizing it then you might end up wasting your time and time is everything here time is everything here okay so this is the point that you have to understand now strategizing is very important because you have to reduce the wastage in the same way when we talk about governance implementation of the schemes as a bureaucrat you have to provide governance to the people you will be implementing multiple schemes and all but that should be done with a proper strategy you need to have that strategy along with that tactics are also important it means that like small implementation points are also important here now if you have the strategy and you are not implementing in letter and spirit you will not be able to achieve your goals if you know Indians are known for making laws, but we are poor at implementation. Indians vaki jane jate hain achhe kanun banane ke liye. But when it comes to implementation, we are very poor. It means that the tactical part is missing. Okay, the things, those things which should be available, you can say visible on the ground, those things are completely not available. That's the point you have to understand. So this is the angle that is there. This is the angle that is there. 
strategy without tactics is the slowest route to victory it means that if you have a strategy but your implementation execution is poor definitely you will not be able to achieve your goals and if you randomly without strategizing anything without making a proper policy you start implementing a program again it will be a disaster us case mein bhi wo disaster ho jayega because without any strategy without any thought process without any objective you will be just focusing on implementation that's the point here so in upsc preparation as well you need a proper strategy that okay this is the way these are the subjects that i will be covering this is the subject where we are lagging behind so we need to focus more on that area okay has a strategize karna hai and the point is that it should not be just you are making a you can say टाइम टेबल एक टाइम टेबल बनाया एंड यू आर नॉट इम्प्लीमेंटिंग इट अगेन इट विल नॉट प्रोड्यूस एनी रिजल्ट फॉर यू इट विल बी ए जस्ट अ नॉइस शोर मचाओगे कि हाँ लाइक वी आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर यू पी एस सी हम यू पी एस सी की तैयारी कर रहे हैं पेरेंट्स के सामने भी ये जाएगा कि हम यू पी एस सी की तैयारी कर रहे हैं बट इन रियलिटी नथिंग विल बी विजिबल ऑन ग्राउंड दैट्स फॉर श्योर सो स्ट्रेटजी एज वेल एज एक्शन बोथ आर रिक्वायर्ड इवन इन द गवर्नेंस इवन इन आर लाइफ this is the message that we are getting from this particular quote so let's start this particular session let's see what exactly is this newspaper saying to us so here we have this particular news ishwarappa quits as karnataka minister okay so you should know this particular fact one of the contractor he committed suicide and it is being said that like he this minister ishwarappa is responsible for that particular suicide okay so again like this shows the sad state of indian politics that indian politics is not in going in right direction if your political leaders are like this definitely society will learn the same thing from them society bilkul inse hi ye cheeze sikhengi okay that's the point you have to understand if this is the definition of political success so people will follow the same path people will follow the same path and in that particular environment we it will be very difficult to fight against corruption and who pays the highest price for corruption it is the poor section of the society so all these things should stop now next news is regarding this congress sena to be ncp poll allies this is what pawar is saying okay so uh, they are coming with the coalition they are coming with the coalition right now in maharashtra as we know that there is a coalition government that is existing okay so the, now i am asking this thing from you that if you talk about democratic principles okay if you talk about democracy strengthening democracy uh, empowering people strengthening democracy okay empowering people which is the better choice for you which is the better choice for you a coalition government or a single party you can say majority government what is your preference does this coalition government has any advantage having a coalition government is it of any use vis-a-vis -vis your democratic principles kya kuch fayda pahuncha sakte hain ye so that's the point that's the point what do you say what do you say so is this of any use to us when i am saying that coalition type of government see one thing is for sure when you talk about coalition government it means that it will reduce the authoritarian tendencies ye jo singam banne ki tendency hai na authoritarian okay those tendencies come down we know that how leaders after gaining majority they start acting in an autocratic manner तो वो लोग ऑटोक्रेटिक हो जाते हैं ठीक है ना वो सोचते हैं कि वही सब कुछ है बट डेफिनेटली बट डेफिनेटली एज एज राहुल भट्ट इज से दिस इज इम्पोर्टेंट चेक एंड बैलेंस एग्जैक्टली सो क्वेलिशन गवर्नमेंट दिस सॉर्ट ऑफ अ थिंग इज यू कैन से डिजायरेबल डिजायरेबल इन द सेंस दैट इट विल प्रोवाइड रिप्रेजेंटेशन टू डिफरेंट आइडियाज आपकी गवर्नमेंट में अलग अलग आइडियाज जो हैं थॉट प्रोसेस जो हैं उनका रिप्रेजेंटेशन होता है बिकॉज पीपल विल बी कैरिंग देयर ओन आइडियाज देयर ओन वे ऑफ थिंकिंग एंड देयर ओन आइडियोलॉजीज एज वेल सो इन दैट वे इफ यू आर ब्रिंगिंग दिस दीज थिंग्स कॉल्यूशन गवर्नमेंट इज डेफिनेटली अ फाइन थिंग 
but other than that there are some shortfalls as well the shows shortfall in the sense that in the coalition government as there are multiple parties that are involved so sometimes it is difficult to come out with the consensus aap consensus nahi bana paoge okay aap consensus nahi bana paoge or you may face some problem in coming out with the consensus that's the point you have to understand that's the another type of difficulty that is there consensus making becomes a difficult activity okay that's the point that's the point so all these things are existing so before moving to next particular part please attempt this particular question so this is your prelims 2018 question i have brought this question earlier as well so i thought that this thing should, there should be some sort of you can say uh, revision at your end okay so right now it is talking about the residuary powers i am asking this thing to you at present at present okay residuary powers are with whom so you need to understand one thing you need to understand one thing here so like we have seventh schedule in indian constitution at present okay and there are three list one is your you can say union list is there then the state list is there and then concurrent list is there these lists are existing it means that subjects are divided now the point is this what about those subjects which are not mentioned in these particular list इन लिस्ट के अंदर जो सब्जेक्ट मेंशन नहीं है वो वो आप बताइए आज की डेट में प्रेजेंटली किसके पास हु विल मेक द डिसीजन ऑन दोज पर्टिकुलर सब्जेक्ट ओके आइदर यू कैन से स्टेट गवर्नमेंट विल मेक द डिसीजन और द यूनियन गवर्नमेंट विल मेक द डिसीजन हु विल मेक द डिसीजन इन द प्रेजेंट टाइम आई नो दैट मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट नो द आंसर ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन इट्स बी गवर्नर जनरल so at that time the residuary powers were given to the governor general okay but at the present time at the present time the same residuary power lies with the union that's the point you have to understand to aaj ki date mein jo hai wo union ke paas jati hai this is the point okay this is the point so we'll move to the next part now another news is regarding sri lanka will not ignore poor while seeking imf assistance okay now that's the debate that has started imf imf has come out okay imf has come out as a rescuer for sri lanka but the assistance that imf is going to provide it will not be unconditional there will be some conditions that will be brought by imf conditions of reforming the system okay conditions of reforming the system and one of the you can say the reform that imf will expect from sri lanka is end to the austerity means that aapko jitni bhi ye extra subsidies aap dete ho the extra subsidies that are given by the government those subsidies need to be completely stopped and apart from that imf will further expect sri lankan government to come out with the structural reforms कुछ एक स्ट्रक्चरल रिफॉर्म्स करने पड़ेंगे रिगार्डिंग टैक्स स्ट्रक्चर टैक्स स्ट्रक्चर कैसा होगा ऑल दोज थिंग्स विल बी डिस्कस्ड सो द पॉइंट दैट आई एम मेकिंग इज दिस दैट आई एम एफ इज नॉट गोइंग टू गिव मनी विदाउट एनी यू कैन से कंडीशन इट विल बी अ कंडीशनल ग्रांट दैट विल बी प्रोवाइडेड टू श्रीलंका एंड आई वुड से दैट इट विल बी इन इंटरेस्ट ऑफ श्रीलंका इन द सेंस दैट इन इंडिया केस वेन वी रिफॉर्म आर इकोनॉमी इन नाइनटीन so opening up the economy reforming the system improving the administration all these were conditions that were put on india by imf ye hamare upar restrictions hamare upar conditions laga lagai gayi thi after then after this particular conditions definitely like they were ready to give us money so the the 1991 the lpg reform that we talk about is basically blessing in disguise for india so for india it was blessing in disguise and definitely for sri lanka as well it may bring some reforms in the system and will improve the sri lankan economy in the long run this is what people are hoping this is what people are hoping okay uh, we'll move to the next part aage chalte hain yahan pe okay so we'll directly move to the editorial and today's editorial is also around the sri lanka issue here usi ke round unhone baat ki hai and they are proposing few things and they are saying that like right now there are issues as well so sri lanka stares at bankruptcy on redemption okay 
so this is the point they are making and in this editorial like he is criticizing the sri lankan elites that sri lankan elites why they are not bearing the burden of this particular crisis crisis in the sense that he is proposing that at this time wealth tax should be explored okay how to impose wealth tax it can be brought in and like wealth tax means that people who are wealthy they will be taxed more this is what government should explore right now this is what the suggestion the gentleman is offering the point you have to understand like we talk about wealth tax or property tax in india as well whenever we talk about funding of your local bodies your rural local bodies your urban local bodies one of the suggestion that is made like including the suggestion made by the administrative reform commission second arc ne bhi jo bhi suggestion diye hain so even in that particular suggestion even in that particular suggestion it is said that like we should collect property tax or wealth tax तो हमारे यहाँ पे भी हम ऐसा नहीं करते हैं बिकॉज ऑफ द पॉलिटिकल कंसिडरेशन ओके डेफिनेटली इलेक्शन में जाना है जनता ने वोट करना है और जनता के ऊपर एडिशनल प्रॉपर्टी टैक्स लगेगा तो आर पॉलिटिशियंस दे थिंक दैट पीपल मे नॉट वोट देम सो सेम कंसिडरेशन माइट बी देर इन श्रीलंका एज वेल एंड एलिट्स डेफिनेटली लाइक दे कंट्रोल द पावर सेंटर्स बी इट योर ब्यूरोक्रेसी बी इट योर पॉलिटिक्स बी ई टी और यू कैन से ऑन्टरप्रीनोरशिप और इंडस्ट्री तो वहाँ पर एलिट्स जो हैं सब मिले जुले होते हैं अगर हम बात करें तो देर इज अ सॉर्ट ऑफ नेक्सेस दैट एग्जिस ओके सो दिस इज़ वन ऑफ द रीजन थिंग्स आर गोइंग टू बी डिफिकल्ट एंड आई रियली फाउंड इट टू बी डिफिकल्ट ऑन द श्रीलंकन पार्ट टू इम्पोज द वेल्थ टैक्स ओके अब करेंगे कि नहीं करेंगे इन्होंने अपनी इच्छा जाहिर की है बट मुझे ग्राउंड पर कुछ होता नजर नहीं आ रहा है ठीक है ना that's the reality so this editorial talks about few things this editorial says that the imf agreement and fallout will be the central point of the contention between elite and the working people so debate will be around this only now the point is this if you talk about reducing the subsidies ab imf kahega subsidies should be brought down and i am saying that who is the biggest beneficiary of these subsidies definitely working people they are dependent on these particular subsidies okay government assistance and all so they will be badly impacted they will be badly impacted that's the point that's the point now government recently announced two major decision one to default on its debt that is 51 billion dollar external debt this is what they have announced okay another point they said that they are ready to negotiate the support package with international monetary fund kahin na kahin support package jo hai wo inke sath discuss karenge okay that's the point that's the point now rahul bhatti saying sir can new development bank provide loan to sri lanka the point is like this okay if you talk about new development bank it all depends upon the interest that they are going to charge so right now sri lanka is not moving towards new development bank okay first thing is that i doubt whether new development bank okay can provide loan in this particular scenario because imf has a provision that if countries are defaulting on their payments they can they can help them out they can help them out imf existence do exist and if you talk about imf definitely like it's a bigger institution with you can say more money in hand that's the point here though do new development bank also has some of the provision kuch provision usne bhi usme bhi dala hai that if the parties are under stress kuch payment ka angle hai so they also have some provision related to funding or you can say giving loan to that particular country but majorly it all depends upon the interest that they are going to charge and definitely if you see imf they charge a reasonable interest that's why countries they opt for imf as a tool okay this is the point that is there now sri lanka is in crisis we know that and look how this crisis was made i have told you multiple times that it was primarily because of the you can say poor performance or autocratic way of working of rajapakshe the president okay along with that it was a poor performance of the whole cabinet that is there in sri lanka including there is a monopoly of rajapaksha family in their cabinet and ministry you can say is given to the members of the rajapaksha family and you never know whether they are competent enough to govern or not 
this is the point so that's why it is said that like decades over the policies that were made by the government they it was quite poor it means that without strengthening your economy without making your economy resilient they keep on providing subsidies to the poor i don't say that subsidies should not be provided but along with that the good you can say economic practices should also be followed जो अच्छी इकोनॉमिक प्रैक्टिसेस हैं यू हैव टू अपहोल्ड दोज पर्टिकुलर प्रैक्टिस बिकॉज वेन योर इकोनॉमी विल बी अंडर प्रेशर इफ दोज प्रैक्टिसेस आर नॉट एग्जिस्टिंग योर इकोनॉमी विल एंड अप इन मेस एंड दिस इज व्हाट इज हैपनिंग इन श्रीलंका राइट नाउ देर वॉज अ माइनर प्रेशर ऑन द गवर्नमेंट वेयर रेवेन्यूज आर नॉट पेकिंग अप वी नो दैट ड्यूरिंग टूरिज्म एंड ऑल ड्यूरिंग कोरोना टूरिज्म इज कम्प्लीटली डाउन नाउ टूरिज्म वॉज वन ऑफ द इम्पोर्टेंट सोर्स ऑफ रेवेन्यू फॉर द श्रीलंकन गवर्नमेंट अब वहाँ पर ऐसा कुछ नहीं हो रहा and what is the outcome right now the country is begging out for its meal that's the situation over there okay and experts are saying that okay no doubt sri lanka is moving towards imf for some assistance but there is no guarantee that imf agreement will lead to even financial stability koi zaruri nahi hai ye theek hai na koi zaruri nahi hai ye this is the point so you have to make lot of restructuring lot of rearrangements that are to be carried out so sometimes sometimes you do have to taste the bitter medicine okay and i guess this is the time that sri lanka should taste the bitter medicine without doing that without some harsh measure definitely uh, providing reform in the present time is really difficult okay so there are some recommendations that are in line so imf will demand that sri lanka should carry out these particular you can say improvement tools or recommendations so they are saying that revenue based fiscal consolidation so it means that government has to increase its revenue and has to reduce the unwanted expenditure jo expenditure hai unwanted usko kam karna padega primarily here we are focusing on subsidies okay wrong with that government can you can say explore of increasing the tax rates wo badhana padega you have to reform the uh, pricing system that is there in sri lanka specifically the energy pricing system and all all those things have to be done then they are saying that another subject is restoring the debt sustainability uh, near term monetary policy tightening okay to control the inflation it means that bank cent central bank of sri lanka they may have to increase the interest rate to reduce the money supply in the economy to reduce the money supply in the economy so that's the point here that's the point here this is the another you can say reform that is being expected a market determined flexible exchange rate they are talking about means like artificial fixing of the exchange rate should not be allowed it should be completely flexible if the sri lankan currency is deteriorating okay it should be allowed because market forces should be allowed to decide what is the exchange rate this is what is suggested ye ek cheez suggested hai theek hai na so next if you talk about they are saying that like another recommendations are in line and one of those particular you can say recommendation is about wealth tax as well so they are saying that like if you bring these particular reforms major price will be paid by you can say poor section of the society tax increase karna and all these things if we, if the sri lankan government is coming out with these type of reforms sabse jyada nuksan to aam janta ko hoga that's the point here okay that's the point here so that's why they are suggesting on few things now along with that imf report or imf demands conditions may bring some additional points as well so they will definitely expect the structural reforms including increasing the female labor force participation and this particular reform cannot be done overnight female labor force participation rat rat nahi hoga you have to reform the system you have to create an environment where we can facilitate this okay then reducing the youth unemployment liberalizing trade developing a wide reaching and coherent investment pro promotion strategy reforming the price control at state owned enterprise so all these things have to be carried out reforming the price controls and state owned enterprises investment promotion strategy all these things have to be carried out now another point is this forcing women into workforce further liberalizing trade removing price control privatizing state owned enterprises 
ऑल दीज थिंग्स आर गोइंग टू टेक सम टाइम ऐसे रातों रात आप नहीं कर सकते हो सो द अर्ली सोल्यूशन माइट नॉट बी विजिबल इन श्रीलंका केस एंड इट मे टेक सम टाइम फॉर श्रीलंका टू यू नो डेवलप इट्स ओन कैपेबिलिटीज ओके सो दिस इज द प्रिलिम्स क्वेश्चन दैट वी आर गोइंग टू हैव टूडे सो प्लीज जस्ट ट्राई टू अटेम्प्ट दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन सो दिस क्वेश्चन इज सेंग दैट द स्पीकर ऑफ लेजिस्लेटिव असेंबली शेल वैकेट हिज और हर ऑफिस इफ शी सीज इज टू बी अ मेंबर ऑफ असेंबली ओके second statement it is saying that whenever the legislative assembly is dissolved the speaker shall vacate his or her post immediately so what is the right answer to this particular question okay it is quite easy to do it is quite easy to do and we know the fact that speaker is one of the important posts that are existing in terms of our uh, working of legislature okay and uh, if you talk about anti defection law जब हम एंटी डिफेक्शन लॉ की बात करते हैं ओके ऑन द मैटर रिलेटेड टू एंटी डिफेक्शन एज वेल सो इट इज द स्पीकर हु टेक्स द डिसीजन इफ देर इज सम डिसक्वालिफिकेशन ऑफ अ पर्टिकुलर मेंबर तो स्पीकर डिसाइड करेगा ठीक है ना स्पीकर डिसाइड करेगा सो पीपल आर कमिंग आउट विद द आंसर सो द पॉइंट दैट वी आर मेकिंग इज दिस ओके दैट स्पीकर शेल वैकेट हिज ऑफिस इफ ही सीज इज टू बी अ मेंबर ऑफ असेंबली एब्सोल्यूटली राइट अगर वो मेंबर ही नहीं रहा है तो कैसे वो आके प्रिजाइड कर सकता है आपकी असेंबली की वर्किंग को एंड नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इट इज सेइंग दैट वेन एवर लेजिस्लेटिव असेंबली इज डिजॉल्व स्पीकर वैकेट पोस्ट इमीजिएटली नो इट इज नॉट डन इमीजिएटली दे अलाउ द इलेक्शन टू बी कंडक्टेड ओके एंड एंड वेन द अदर यू कैन से असेंबली इज इन लाइन जस्ट बिफोर दैट जस्ट बिफोर दैट द स्पीकर विल रिजाइन वहां पर जो है रिजाइन होता है स्पीकर का ठीक है ना असेंबली पहले डिजोल्व हो जाती है लेकिन नई असेंबली आने तक स्पीकर एज इट इज रहता है टू लुक इन टू द एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव वर्क एंड ऑल सो असेंबली का कुछ एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव वर्क होगा बाकी काम करने के लिए स्पीकर विल स्टे एज इट इज ओके दैट्स द पॉइंट हियर सो विल मूव टू द नेक्स्ट एडिटोरियल नेक्स्ट एडिटोरियल इज पॉइंटिंग टू वर्ड्स द फूड वैक्सीन एज राइट मोर सो फॉर टी बी पेशेंट ओके सो दिस इज टॉकिंग अबाउट फ्यू थिंग्स रिलेटेड टू टी बी एंड वी नो दैट इट्स अ बैक्टीरियल इन्फेक्शन ठीक है ये हमें मालूम होना चाहिए एंड इट इज ऑल्सो सेट दैट इंडिया इज द टी बी कैपिटल ऑफ द वर्ल्ड देर आर लॉट ऑफ टी बी पेशेंट्स इन इंडिया अनदर प्रॉब्लम दैट इज सीन इन डीलिंग विद टी बी इज दिस द मल्टी ड्रग रेजिस्टेंट ओके दैट ओवर द टाइम the tb patients the bacteria that is there in in us okay the in the patient it may develop some resistance to the existing vaccines and medicines that are available aisa ho sakta hai ki aapke yahan pe jo aapke yahan pe jo existing medicines hain kya pata wo ineffective ho jaye because that bacteria it can develop some sort of a resistance so these these problems are existing okay so here they are highlighting few another points they are saying that we know that we have to fight out tb but one of the reason for tb you can say prevalence is the undernutrition and without addressing the undernutrition definitely you cannot fight against tb now why why this why this undernutrition is important okay why you have to deal with this particular part because you need to understand undernutrition is directly linked with your immune system now if you have undernutrition definitely your immunity will be weak natural immunity will be weak okay so your body will not be able to fight it out without the external assistance or without medicine hum mein bhi to kuch internal immunity honi chahiye this is what we are talking about so again they are saying that right now the approach that we have like how we are fighting tb we have multiple medicines that are available in the market so you have uh, rifa pycin ethambutol pyrazimidide okay to fight against tb these medicines are available and i'm telling you this thing noted down this is a content for your prelims okay so they may come out with these particular terms and they may frame a question ki bataiye ji ki ye Uh, like what is the relevance of these particular terms okay so you should be knowing about this thing another another medicine that is there for tb is streptomycin okay streptomycin so you should be knowing about that as well so they are saying that like these medicines are existing but we are not focusing on increasing or improving the nutritional strength of individuals so that we can fight out on we can have 
you can say the person will have the immunity that will be able to deal with this TB crisis. So, आपकी खुद की जो natural immunity है वो भी तो होनी चाहिए to fight against TB. So this is what they are saying. कि भी इनके अलावा you have to think about other things as well. So nutrition of an individual is the most vital factor that is there to prevent TB. This is what Dr. J.B. McDowell, no McDougall of you can say WHO is saying. The fact is that 90% of Indians that are exposed to TB remain dormant if their nutritional status is good. It means that the TB will not be that effective if the patient is having a good, you can say, nutritional health. This is what we have to focus upon right now. The cases can be reduced. You have to just create, you have to just improve the nutritional health of the society. That's the point. That's the point here. So we'll move to the next part now. Aage chalte hain. So a profitable winter in Kashmir. Okay, so tourism is picking up. This, uh, that's a good thing here. That's a good thing because people will get employment and all and it will reduce the terrorism. Aisa hoga, theek hai na? So another point, another angle that we have to explore is this particular page. On this page, there is nothing much, kuch khas nahi hai yaan pe. Okay, so India to get record number of doctors in next 10 years. This is what Modi ji is saying and it's a right thing to do because we have to focus upon availability of human resource specifically to address the demand of the population. Or medical science ki agar hum baat kare, to wahan pe to there is always shortage. Okay. So number of doctors that we are going to produce in another 10 years, it's a really good thing. It's a really good thing here, okay. And why, uh, apart from just increasing the numbers, there are other things that you have to address. Now in India, like majority of the population is living in rural area and all the medical facilities are there in urban areas, okay. So you have to deal with this mismatch as well. At least what we can do if doctors are not going to work in rural areas. So what we can facilitate is the availability of the ambulances and all so that the patients they can be uh, easily taken from village area to the respective hospital in the urban center. So ye cheez hum hi kar sakte hain. We should explore that particular point. Usko zarur hume explore karna chahiye. Okay. So this is there, this is there. It's a good thing if we have 10 years of record number of doctors will come to the end. Okay. So these points are there. These points are there. Apart from that, there is nothing much. Now our defense minister is coming out with the statement that India will not spare anyone. And uh, these statements were made when he was on a visit to United States. Okay. So he discussed a lot of things related to you can say defense engagement between two countries including the Indo-Pacific strategy of uh, United States. Already we have been pressurized by US and the Western countries to criticize Russians. We kuch kare, Russians ko criticize kare, etc. etc. But we are guided by our own national interest. And here, here, uh, he is saying that like if India is harmed then definitely we will we will do something we can take action okay so the point is that message is quite clear don't consider India's silence to be its weakness that's the point please attempt this particular question this is your prelims 2018 question okay so there are two statements that are being made here so first statement says that no criminal proceedings shall be instituted against governor of the state in any court during the term Okay, the criminal proceeding kya governor ke khilaaf nahi ho sakti hai. Next it is saying that the emoluments and the allowances of the governor of the state shall not be diminished during his term of office. So if you are going to attempt this question, second part is like quite easy to identify. Kaafi asani se aap isko dekh loge. Okay, so isme kuch khas difficulty nahi hai. But when it comes to first statement, so I would like to tell you this thing, that first statement is also right, that criminal proceedings cannot be instituted against the governor. Okay, so during his term of office, so that's the point here. So the right answer is C, right answer is C. So we'll move to the next part now. Now government come out with the EDAR portal to speed up the accident compensation claims. Okay, so again, this is also a relief to victims of accidents. So digitalized detailed accident, accident reports and these reports will be uploaded on the portal for easy access. Okay, taki claim filing jo hai wo asaan ho jaye yaan pe. Thik hai na? Claim filing jo hai wo yaan pe asaan ho jaye. As all the documents and all, all by which 
विल बी प्रोवाइडेड बाय द अथॉरिटीज दैट आर इन्वॉल्व सो पुलिस हो चाहे रोड अथॉरिटी हो चाहे हॉस्पिटल हो दे विल प्रोवाइड दे विल प्रोवाइड असिस्टेंस ओके दे विल प्रोवाइड असिस्टेंस नाउ मूविंग बिफोर मूविंग टू नेक्स्ट प्लीज ट्राई टू अटैम्प्ट दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन हियर अगेन टुडे आई ब्रॉड सम क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम आर्ट एंड कल्चर एज वेल सो प्लीज ट्राई टू अटैम्प्ट दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन बिकॉज दिस बानी थानी पेंटिंग एंड इट इज क्वाइट पॉपुलर ओके क्वाइट पॉपुलर एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट लाइक जस्ट बाय अटैम्प्टिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन इज नॉट यू कैन से द एंड टू दिस यू हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई एंड यू शुड नो द पर्सनैलिटीज दैट आर यू कैन से अटैच टू बानी थानी पेंटिंग सो इज देर एनी फेमस पेंटर दैट यू नो हु वॉज हु वॉज नोन फॉर बानी थानी पेंटिंग सो दैट्स द होमवर्क दैट आई एम गिविंग इट टू यू सो आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू द राइट आंसर टू दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन इज द किशनगढ़ स्कूल पेंटिंग ओके सो दिस इज द क्वेश्चन दैट दे डिड आस्क एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट वट इज द थीम वट इज द पॉपुलर थीम ओके सो दैट्स द अनदर थिंग दैट यू कैन एक्सप्लोर वो भी आप कर सकते हो ठीक है ना सो दिस इज द पॉइंट दिस इज द पॉइंट नाउ विल मूव टू द नेक्स्ट पार्ट आगे चलते हैं देखते हैं और क्या खास है यहाँ पे इंडिया गेट्स एस फोर हंड्रेड ट्रेनिंग इक्विपमेंट ओके सो आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू दिस थिंग दे मे हैव सेंड द ट्रेनिंग इक्विपमेंट एंड ऑल वी हैव गॉट द फर्स्ट स्क्वाड्रन निहाल चंद एब्सोल्यूटली राइट प्रांजल सो दे दे मे हैव सेंड दे मे हैव सेंड यू कैन से द ट्रेनिंग इक्विपमेंट एंड ऑल but the point that you have to understand the point that you have to understand is this the second squadron there has been some delay that has been reported so this ukraine russia crisis is adding some of the painter uh, not painter adding some of the pain okay adding some of the pain that's the point that's the point now this is the angle that is explained here now us has already said that they will be putting ban or you can say some restrictions on india under katsa now us has these particular katsa arrangement that is countering america's adversaries through sanctions act okay that if someone one country tries to carry out trade with uh, restricted country restricted country in the sense the russia here so us will impose some sanctions now right now to bypass the whole arrangement we are exploring the rupee ruble trade we don't want to touch dollar at present and this rupee ruble trade is beneficial for us hamare liye beneficial bhi hai because ru- ruble is primarily quite weak at present aaj ki date mein ruble bahut weak hai so if you look into that it's a good thing it's a good deal that we are carrying out okay now please attempt this particular question so as s400 is in news okay so upsc did ask a question in 2018 regarding this particular point so it is somehow related to your defense only and your s400 missile system only so i guess i have given you some of the hint as well okay so what exactly is this so th- a terminal high altitude area defense that's the third system it is basically an american anti missile system so like we have s400 as russian missile system so you have american anti missile system that is your thard so this is what this is what you should understand now upsc did ask a question about on thard because it was in news as thard missile system was deployed in japan in south korea as north korea was firing rockets at that time so ye sari cheeze thi yahan pe okay so we are moving to next particular part next particular news item that we will be covering here is this okay so navy accelerates indigenization effort focus on weapons and aviation items okay see indigenization of your defense industry is very important okay why i am saying that indigenization is important so apart from reducing the dependencies on others it creates employment as well now if you are importing anything from other country the employment will be created there but if you are producing that particular equipment here in india itself it it somehow you can say it creates generates employment as well that angle you have to explore employment wala other than that other than the employment angle the other angle that we will be covering another angle that we will be covering okay is is regarding the pride that it is going to bring the pride that we have that we have the capability okay it adds you can say strength to your nation 
you can take pride on all these things that's the point here now other than this all these things now as i told you as well at the time of crisis you have to be have the supply lines open okay hum ye bilkul bhi nahi afford kar sakte ki hamari supply lines jo hain wo close ho jaye like in the present time due to the russia ukraine crisis the supply of s400 system to india has been impacted ye aapko samajhna hoga theek hai na ye aapko samajhna hoga okay so that's the point that's the point so vicky gautam yadav is asking sir what is iron dome so you need to understand iron dome is also a defense system that israel has now if you look into the map of israel there are lot of rockets that are fired from the palestinian sides okay there are lot of militant organization that are present in palestine and they do target the israeli territory so to fight them out to intercept those particular rockets that are fired so israel has developed this system called iron dome it's not dome it's iron dome okay iron dome now under this particular system there are sirens there are detection system that are there okay siren bajenge bahut sare and people are well trained that what they have to do there are shelters that are available immediately on the public place you can go to that particular shelter area to protect yourself okay so these arrangements are existing there and like that system of iron dome is also there it's quite effective as well but here we are talking about anti missile system iron dome can help you out with the rockets that are being fired here i am talking about missiles okay ki aap missile ko detect karoge aur us missile ko upar hi destroy kar doge that's the point here so this this is what the angle is in this particular indigenization news other than that there is nothing much on this particular page here okay so here we are moving to next page now russia strikes missile units outside the kiev so this is the development that is taking place again like people are saying that the arena of war has been again shifted to kiev as as russians have increased the intensity in the eastern part so they want that ukrainians should not uh, provide some sort of reinforcement and other assistance to the soldiers that are fighting in east and it should be a cake walk for russia but aisa hota nazar nahi aa raha hai because already like uh, the yesterday there was one news that one of the you know naval ship has been sunk by the ukrainian forces okay so aisa bhi ho raha hai ki ek russian ship bhi jo hai duba diya gaya hai so if these things are happening then definitely you can say that this war is not going to end soon kafi lamba chalega theek hai na that's the point that's the point other than that other than that there is nothing much so we'll directly move to the economy page here so here it is said that china reduces reserve norms for banks as economy slows okay so they are basically uh, again pumping in money in the chinese economy and we know multiple reasons because of which the economy is getting slowed okay so this ukraine russia crisis is really adding pain to the global slowdown that is going on since corona to ye sardardi ban gaya hai definitely these things should end as soon as possible okay so this is the point this is the point that is there other than that other than that there is nothing much okay so that's it for the day then i hope these sessions are adding value to your preparation thank you very much